everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, today I'm going to be doing the 10 products I repurchased tag, and if you don't know the premise of this tag, it's that all my makeup has basically disappeared, and I get to pick which 10 products I want to repurchase, and I'm kind of cheating, maybe. Um, I'm going about this with the thought process that I could purchase items that I've been having my eye on for a while now, um, so that's why I don't exactly have a full face of makeup here. Uh, I may have duplicated some products and um, like from the same category and not have some from others. But that's why. Um, so, anyways, I was tagged to do this video by Fashions Glitter and Jessica Danelia, and I love both of their videos, so of course I'm gonna do it. But my one thing with this is that I hope it's not boring to you guys. Um, I wasn't super stoked, but then today. I tried something new with my makeup and I actually tried to do wear some older products um, that I've had for a little while and that I, you know, maybe didn't get along with so well and I still didn't get along with them and it just kind of reinforced why I love the products that I am sharing with you guys and um, yeah, I love all of these so I am going to kind of show them to you right now. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going to get started with the fact that you might be noticing that my brows look a little too dark and I tried to use this NYX eye pencil that I always want to work for me but it just doesn't so I don't know why I keep trying it but anyways I would definitely repurchase MAC's Soba eyeshadow because it's my brow color and it also makes a really nice natural crease color as well um, it's a really good for kind of a light makeup day as well as you know doubling for your brows so I really like this uh, and I would definitely repurchase it. Uh, the next thing is a palette, so I hope that's okay, but um, I don't feel like these palettes get enough praise on YouTube. I love the one that I have, and I really want to purchase another one, but um, I don't really need eyeshadows right now, so it's not something that I'm in the market for, but at some point I will get another one, and it is the Kat Von D palette in Ludwig, and I just think these shadows are top-notch quality, seriously. Um, uh, there, it's about $35, if, I, if I'm if i right, I think it is, for the palette, and you get quite a few eyeshadows, as you can see, and they are really nicely pigmented, as well as nicely textured. The only one that I have a texture problem with is this one right here, which is kind of a bummer. That one is just a little bit on the chalky side. The rest of them are so smooth, and they apply wonder... They just apply beautifully. Um, they're really pigmented, and they blend well, as well. So, blend well as well. Um, and they blend well also, so yeah, I would definitely repurchase this because it has my favorite highlighting color of all time as well as my favorite crease color and my favorite color for the outer corner. So I would definitely repurchase this palette and it's the Kat Von D Ludwig palette in case you're wondering. You can purchase it at Sephora. So if you have a Sephora near you, I would definitely stop by and look at these if you're in the market for eyeshadows because um, for the quality, I think that they're nicely priced, honestly, so definitely give those a try. This one is just kind of boring, but I would repurchase my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and just in a black color. And I might try out the waterproof, I don't know, I just, Viana does makeup really likes the waterproof, but I kind of go back and forth between this and Maybelline's one by one, and I often layer the two. The newest, um, mascara purchase has been the one by one, so it's time to give this another go. And I really, I just really like it. I don't know. I like defined lashes, and this really defines my lashes. So, I would definitely pick so that. So, the fourth product that I would repurchase is my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, or just one of the Scandinavia sprays. It's just so nice, because I do have combination skin. I have really dry um, patches here. I have Keratosis Pyloris, if anyone knows what that is. Um, it's not like a serious condition or anything. It's just the red. A lot of people may have it on their arms. I do as well. It's just like these little, um, little tiny, may, they might be red, they might not show up at all, but they're just, it's just kind of a little bumpy. Um, that sounds a little gross, but it's, it's real life, so. Yeah, um, anyway, so I have it a little bit on my face. It's, they're not like huge bumps or anything, it's just not smooth, um, as the rest of my face. And so that area of my skin is really dry, but then I have kind of an oily T-zone, and um, this just really helps my makeup to stay all over my face. I never have a problem with my makeup staying on in the dry areas of my face, um, and the spray also just makes it quite not as not quite as dry because it is a liquid. So, yeah, I really would love 
yeah, I'll definitely repurchase this when it runs out. And if I didn't have it, I would purchase it also. Next product is one that I also realized how much I loved today. And um, it's because I used a liquid foundation for the first time in a month or two. And uh, I have been using my Laura Mercier Mineral Powder, and I am in love with this. Um, it has beautiful coverage, and you can kind of build it up if you want to. I don't normally wear it that heavy, uh, because I'm not super into heavy face makeup, um, as far as foundation goes. I really like for my skin to look like skin, and I feel like it looks like skin the most when I use this. Um, and it also just feels the best on my face. Really, I want to wipe this, I really want to wash this foundation off because it just feels bad on my face. It feels like it's doing bad things for my skin. I know this isn't great either, but I don't feel like it's as bad, so. I would definitely repurchase this and I would tell you to give it a try, even if you have been kind of wary about the powder finish. Um, I was worried about that, but it looks like skin to me, so I would definitely, um, I would definitely repurchase this. Next are the two cheap products, and I've talked about these a lot recently, so I'm just gonna whiz right on through these. NYX Taupe Blush and Stila Custom Color Blush in the pink color. I don't know if it's just pink or what, but this looks scary, um, but it is so pretty on the cheeks, and it really wakes up your face if you're kind of having a lazy makeup day. I love to put this on in the morning just because it kind of wakes up my face. And my favorite lipstick ever, um, I've been thinking about doing a favorite of all time video, but some of these products would be in it, and I feel like I don't want to get too repetitive. So maybe I'll do that in like a year or eight months or something. But it is MAC's Girl About Town lipstick. It's my favorite lipstick. Um, it really complements my skin tone well, and it is a bright fuchsia. I love bright lips, um, the one day that I'm not wearing a bright lip on camera. So yeah, I love bright lips, and I would definitely, definitely wear this. I wear it a lot. Like, if I can get away with wearing it daily, I will. I'm not today because I just have darker colors on my eyes than I normally wear, so I didn't go with something bright today. The next, I, I'm a lip product lover, um, if you can't tell from the products that I'm picking. This one is really messed up. But this is Prestige Cosmetics um, Romantic Red, and it's more of a pinky red, so I really like that. I just feel like it suits me a little bit better. And I like my bright lips, and I like to be able to change them up, so I would definitely go with this. And then my tenth product that I would definitely repurchase is my NYC Eyelash Curler. I just feel like it's nice for drugstore. Of all the drugstore eyelash curlers that, I, that I've tried, I like this one the best. And it's cheap, maybe about $3, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but it's really nice. And it, it curls my lashes well. It does the job. So, yeah, that's... Those are the 10 products I repurchased, and um, I don't want to tag anyone specifically to do this video. I would like to see you do it. If, um, if you do, let me know. You don't have to post it as a video response, but I would love for you to let me know in the comments, because I would love to see it. And yeah, that's everything, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.